Hello, it's Beth from Be Styled, and it's time for Tipsy Tuesday Live. Welcome. Coming to you a little bit late. My husband next door is on a Zoom call talking really loud, so I had to wait for him to be done. Anyway, hello and welcome to a beautiful day. I'm wearing my neon, crazy, beautiful, bright yellow, I guess. It's a little, got a little bit of green to it. Chartreuse, maybe? I think it's mostly yellow in honor of the fact that we finally have some decent weather here in Newport, Rhode Island and in New England. I heard that some, that there are storms and awful weather in other parts of the country. So um, wherever you are, I hope you are well. And if you're enjoying this weather, alleluia, right? That's all I have to say. Um, anyway, I am coming to you live to, to uh, give you a little bit of a homework assignment, a required homework assignment. It's a little bit of a lecture. It's something that you're going to appreciate um, that you that if, if you do this, you will appreciate it. And you'll thank me maybe, okay? It is six weeks until Memorial Day. So we are right in coming into or into the, high, you know, spring and summer event season. So what I want you to do is go to your calendar and look at, write down every event you have between now and say Labor Day or October 1st, you pick. I don't have that many, so this is an easy thing for me, but I know for a lot of you it's not. I know a lot of you have, you're, you got that age where your kids are getting married and all their friends are getting married. You have weddings, you have showers, people are having babies. Um, maybe you have people getting, you know, first communions, bar mitzvahs, all that stuff. And I know what happens is we get busy and these events come up and maybe a week or two before the event we think, oh geez, what am I gonna wear? And it becomes a fire drill. And emergency shopping is rarely effective. Believe me, I've been on the other end of so many phone calls um, where they're like, people are like, you know, I've got this event and I need this, I need that. And I'm like, well, when's the event? And they're like, in two weeks. And that's tough. I mean, it's, it's, po it's obviously anything's possible, but it can be tough. So you will be doing yourself a favor if you plan ahead. But more importantly, I don't want you to then plan ahead and then start thinking, oh, what can I buy? I have all these events. I'm going to go shop, shop, shop. What I want you to do is the, the old cliche that I use all the time. You got to go to your closet. You would be surprised. <laughs> I know a lot of you ladies, how many things you have in your closet. And maybe they're things you've worn before or worn a lot and you think, oh, I want something new. Okay, sure. I, I'm with you on that. I know that a lot of you have things that maybe you've only worn once or twice. And as soon as an event comes up, because I've been guilty of this, I am guilty of this. A special event comes up and you're, you think, I want something new. Let's try to change that mindset. Let's first, at least first, go to the closet and think, okay, if this event was tomorrow, if I couldn't go shopping, do I have something that I could pull together? And look at your closet and look at your clothing with new eyes. Forget where you last wore it. I mean, unless it was 10 years ago and it's out of style, then, then that's, that's not an option, obviously. I'm talking about things that you could and would wear to this event that are already in your closet. And maybe you've worn them before. Think about it. Is anyone at this upcoming event that you really care about going to be at the, was the, were they at that last event? And does it matter? Are they going to remember? Are they going to care? Do you care? If you do, then that's one thing. But Chances are they're not going to remember. You remember, they don't remember. And also, are there ways you can take that same dress or outfit and just change it up a little bit with your shoes, with your accessories to make it look completely different? And then I trust me, no one's going to remember. And you just saved yourself whatever you were going to spend on a new outfit. If it fits you, if you bought it and you liked it once and you've worn it before, it's, it's, it's like a bird in the hand, right? Money in the bank. <laughs> so start there. So really give your wardrobe a good once over and try to build some outfits for these upcoming events directly from your closet. And then write down, okay, I, I love this dress, but I don't have the right shoes for it. I've tried, I've looked, I don't have the shoes, the bag. Then look for just those things. And when you pick out those shoes and bags and things like that, think about all the other events you have. You're not wearing different shoes and different bag to every event you have this spring and summer. I mean, unless you're like, you know, a Rockefeller, you're not. <laughs> right? I'm not. Um, and you don't need to wear the exact same thing, but you want to buy things that are versatile that you can wear 
to these different events, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you what my strategy is for, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of occasion clothes. I try to have a lot of great clothes that I can wear for occasions, but I don't have, I have very few things that are, are like my dressy dress up clothes. I don't have that kind of lifestyle, um, but I do have some tips for you so that when those events come up, you do have things to pull from. Okay, first of all, um, let me know if I can see in the comments, if you have any event, like what kind of events you have coming up. In my mind, I'm thinking of those wedding showers, baby showers, obviously weddings. Um, I'm not really going to talk about really dressy things um, today, but those events that just come up um, that you usually have some, some advance notice. Um, but it, it could also be, it could be those funerals, those celebrations of life that you don't have advance notice. And a lot of these pieces are gonna work for both, for both the celebration happy events, and you could make it work for a funeral. You don't have to have like your funeral outfit and your happy outfit. You can, they can make it mix and match. Okay, so my advice is to have, I have my, my trusty rack here. This is pretty much my entire wardrobe. I've, I've, I've hijacked our third bedroom and I keep this rack in my, in that bedroom. And when my kids come home this summer, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Put it in the basement or something, but. This is my rack of clothes, and what I, I pulled at the end these these examples of versatile occasion pieces that I know you have. You don't have to have these exact pieces. I want you to just plug in from what you have. Let's start with let's start with fun. Okay, let's start with. I think it's a good idea to have a what I would call a feminine pretty dress outfit. It could be a jumpsuit, it could be a pants outfit, but in, for the sake of today, let's talk about a dress. And when I say like a dressy or feminine dress, this is it, this is it, that's just what it is. And here's an example that I, I haven't even taken the tags off. I, I realized I was kind of lacking in this department. Um, and this dress has been on my radar for ages. It's from Quince, it is washable silk, and I love it. I love this color, it comes in other colors as well. Um, I love it because I could wear it all year round. I could wear it with a jacket, without a jacket, dress it up, dress it down, different shoes, different jewelry, you know the drill. But it also stands on its own beautifully. It has just enough details, not a huge puffy sleeve or anything. Um, it's it's just got a nice open, v, you know, open neckline, kind of a um, split neck. Um, and then it's got this nice elastic waistband and then it just flows down. It has some tears, but it's not too poofy. Because it's silk, it just sort of hangs. So it's, it, it suits my style aesthetic. I don't generally wear really poofy dresses. I love them on other people, but I don't love them on me. That's just not my, just not me. And it hits me, at, it's nice and long. I like long, because I have lots of varicose veins. It hits me like in that sweet spot, just above my ankle. It would be very easy, I think, to shorten. Maybe. You'd have to ask your seamstress. It does have tiers, so it depends on what length you wanted it. But um, it could be also could be worn as a full maxi dress. Anyway, I'm not selling you on this dress. I'm telling you what this is, is it is a pretty and feminine dress. So think baby shower, wedding shower. As long as it's not the same people, and even if it was, if it's, if it's years in difference, I could wear the same dress over and over again. I would change it up. I would change the bag. I, I pulled out some accessories. Maybe I would want to go, if, you know, a daytime event. I might want to do a fun pattern bag. This is this this I got at a boutique or at a, like an event in Newport um, by some artisan. But I know Jamie at Flirty Finds has a beautiful woven like straw bag with with color in it. You could add that to it to a simple dress like this. I tend to go for solids with these heavy hitting pieces, um, just because you do you can change it up with your topper layer, your accessories, even your jewelry. You could wear a contrasting color earring with this. Um, you could, you could, you know, turn it into a more of an evening look or a different look with, with black, wear some, a pair of black sandals, and then, and then maybe, I don't know, a silver statement earring. That would be a great combination. So that takes it to kind of a nighttime look. I mean, you could even really bling it out the same dress for an evening look with the blingy, a blingy bag, some CZ earrings, and a pair of like silver shoes. See, three entirely different looks from this one very affordable, washable silk dress, okay? So, but it's, but do you see what I mean by how it's like, this is like feminine. This isn't like, 
buttoned up corporate. Um, you could wear it to work, but it's, it's, it's a feminine dress. So think again, showers, christenings, things like that. If you are a pattern girl, a lot of you are going to recognize this silly dress, not silly dress. This dress is from Amazon. All these things are linked in the link. If you, it's called shop my posts. Um, and they're, they're all linked there. Um, these dresses are all under the occasion dresses category link in that one link that you go to. Anyway, again, go to your closet. Do you have a pretty feminine dress? Maybe it's a floral. Fine. You could check the box with that as well. I love florals, especially, this is just my, again, my personal preference. If it's going to be a floral or pattern, I personally like it if it's just like one main color. This is obviously red. This comes in a million and true Amazon style, a million different colors. But by keeping it um, one color, it's easier to, to change it up. It's a little less memorable, I think. You know what I mean? If you're gonna wear it over and over again, it's a little, I don't know, less memorable. Solids are, are, are easier to pull that off with though. But a lot of people love patterns and um, I, I like it. I like patterns occasionally as well. So that's your, that's your feminine go-to dress. You don't need 50 of them. You don't even need five of them. I'd say you need one, maybe two, depending on how busy you are. I could get, I could get by with this in that category for a long time. And I probably will. I've had this, I've had this one for years and I wear this very casually in the summer with like flat sandals. Um, okay. The second category I'm going to call the blank slate category for dresses. In my case, Mine are both that I pulled out are both jumpsuits. Yes, I have a dressy one and a, and a less dressy one. This this one is relatively new. It's navy blue with a V-neck. It's from Cabby. It's called the Genius Jumpsuit because the back is not attached. So you can figure out why that makes it genius. Very convenient. Um, it's just a fabulous material. It has pockets. It is a cropped length. On me, it's about... It's probably, I wish it was a little bit longer on me. So if you're petite, it's going to be perfect. It's, it's above my ankle. Eh, maybe that much above my ankle, but it's just got wide, wide leg flowy. It's a nice flowy material, very forgiving, very comfortable to wear. This is a blank slate. It could, you could do the same thing with separates with matching Navy separates. That becomes your blank slate. It could be black. It could be tan. It could be gray. It could be whatever. Um, it's a, it's, it's a blank slate. My other, my other blank slate piece that I've had, I had to go dig it out of the basement. It was in a garment bag. I've had this baby for 15 years, maybe. And if I had to go out at night to someplace dressy, this is what I would wear. And I, I think it's still in style. I, I linked similar ones. I couldn't find this one as great as this one. Personally, I think this is the best one. Um, I've lent this to people. Maybe if you're out there, you've worn this same jumpsuit. It's from Black, White House Black Market. I look, they don't have it. Again, it's 15 years old. It is just a halter neck, very long, flowy legs, but stretchy, not clingy anywhere, not jersey. It's, it's thick, but flowy. And it's a blank slate, dressy black jumpsuit. Not bathroom friendly, but I don't care. This, I could do the same routine with that I did with the teal dress as far as dressing it up, dressing it down. I mostly wear this with this dressy, but um, in the summer I would wear it with like a, um, a neutral shoe, like a little summery shoe and maybe a, um, a bag in this color. If I, I don't have one right here. Or I could carry this straw bag since it's got you know, this little summery and then maybe wear like a really cool statement earring, maybe even in a color. But the point is, it's a blank slate, okay? You need the blank slate piece. Um, could be, it could be your little black dress, your little navy dress. Go try it on. <laughs> Make sure it works because what this piece, not the dressy one, but the, this blank slate piece works as is your go-to funeral outfit as well. I could take this jumpsuit. I happen to have a, tons of things I could throw on top of this to go to a funeral. If I wanted to be all navy, I would just throw on, it has a matching, it's, it's, since it's cabbie, it's the exact same navy, which is nice. I would wear this matching navy blazer, a, just a simple necklace, and a pair of probably nude pumps to a funeral. 
And I could also wear this if I had a big fancy corporate job. I could wear the same thing to a big fancy corporate job. If I belong to a country club, I could wear it to a luncheon at the country club with some color and maybe a bright, fun bag. You're, you're getting my point, right? But the point is, if I get those invitations, or God forbid I have to go to a funeral, I'm not scrambling and calling Beth to say, what am I going to wear? Or shopping. Worse yet, I'm not emergency shopping. Because when you emergency shop, and you've all been there, you've all been in the dressing room, we've, I've done the same thing. You make you you make decisions, you know, in a in a panic. Man, my face! I gotta put some powder on my face. Um, you make panic decisions, and they're never good. You you spend too much. You buy things that you never wear again. You buy things you don't like. Then you go to the event and you're mad at yourself because you don't like your outfit and you spend all this money. So we're not doing that. And now's the time to plan ahead. Check your calendar and line it all up. Try the shoes. Get, make sure you have the bag, make sure you have the outfit, make sure you have the right undergarments, all of it. Take a picture, make sure you like the way it looks. Even if the event is two months from now, you'll, you'll just save yourself, maybe not two months. Look a month ahead and just make sure you have something. And keep these pieces in your closet and make sure they're always clean, they're always you know, pressed and ready to go, okay? So that's your job. Check your calendar. Let me know if you need any help. If you're in the spring style system, we help all the time with people who have these events and they'll show pictures. What should I wear this dress or this dress? And they get great unbiased eyes. It's better than asking your sister or your daughter, God forbid, right? You get, and you'll, you know, these women are very kind and, and I'm obviously kind, but I'm also very honest. I'm not just gonna say, oh, it looks great, it looks great, it looks great. I'm gonna say, this, I like this, try this instead, Do wear this shoe instead, can you do this, can you roll your sleeve, I make little tweaks, I'm not, it's not a big, just, you know, you look great, you look great, you look great, I mean, people are spending $47, which is a lot less than you spend on all those emergency shopping trips, trust me, they're spending $47 for uh, the whole season in this group to get that kind of feedback, I mean, girls, it's invaluable, it saves you so much money. And I talk about it all the time. It gives you a list, a plan, so there's no willy-nilly shopping. Willy-nilly shopping is bad. And we are living in a world right now where it is too darn easy. I mean, it is too easy. I was on YouTube looking for something, and I noticed that everyone on YouTube, every everyone on YouTube is is influencing me to buy something. And you know, and obviously I try to I influence, I guess. It's not but I, I don't I try not to. I'm not all about buy, 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 but it's 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 just thrown at you all the time. But the fact of the matter is you don't have to buy new things every time you have an event to go to. You have things. And if you don't have anything, if you don't have anything to wear to an event, if you're starting from scratch, you've lost weight, you've gained weight, your style has changed, your life has changed, start with these things. Say, you need, say two things. You need your feminine party dress, that you can wear, it's your go-to, and you're gonna wear it over and over again, and yes, you're gonna wear it to the same, you're gonna repeat it, and it's gonna be okay. <laughs> you need your feminine dress, and you need your blank slate dress outfit that you can completely transform and make it go to a funeral in it, or go to a meeting in it, or go to a party in it. Those two things. If you have those two things, start with that. Before you buy all kinds of other I, I mean, this is, this is, you know, this half of my rack is my basics. It's not rolling. <laughs> Down there is my basics. That half, okay? That's where all, you see the color? See all the neutrals, the blues, the tans, the off-whites? Then this is all my, actually, that, those, what? Those all are on that side. These are my fun things. This is where the color and everything is. But the beauty of these things is I can, I can grab that navy blue jumpsuit or a or column of navy, and I can grab. I can grab this jacket and change it up. I could grab this jacket and change it up. I could grab this pink Amazon blazer and change it up. I could throw a kimono on it and change it up. This would look great with that jumpsuit, this kimono. So you gotta have those basics and those those 
those um, event basics in order to get dressed for these events. So that's my spiel for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't go shopping. Shop your closet. Rewear what you have. Change it up. Use your accessories. Maybe invest in some new inexpensive accessories to jazz up your navy blue dress or your black dress. Right? Go to a local boutique and get, you know, that's, I got this at a, at a local boutique. Um, does she have a, I would like to give her a little shout out. She, this is handmade by someone, doesn't even, oh, oh, it does have a tag. Hold on, hold on. I love to support little local artisans. Oh my gosh, I, Florissant, F-L-E-U-R-I-S-S-A-N-T, Flora, as in the flower, Florissant. And I remember meeting her, she was this lovely woman, and she makes these. So that's my point, is you can jazz up your, your basics with, your basic outfits, your basic occasion outfits with accessories and have fun with it. And thanks for hanging in there with me today and being here and go enjoy the beautiful weather if you're so lucky to have it. <laughs> okay, bye for now.